Hey, y'all, and thank you for coming back to the channel. You already know where you're at. I ain't no sense of me telling you, so let's get on right into this article. But before I go, I had to go back down memory lane. Do y'all remember that song that Minnie Rippleton had song, Memory Lane? Let me give you a little taste of it. It said, I stumbled on this photograph. It kind of made me laugh. It took me way back, back down memory lane. I see the happiness. I see the pain. Where am I? Oh, I'm back down memory lane. I see you standing there. Such a happy, happy pair. Love beyond compare. Look at there. Look at there. The way you held me, no one could tell me that love would die. Oh, why did I have to find this photograph? Thought I had forgot the past, but now I'm slipping fast. Back down memory lane, I feel the happiness. I feel the pain, here am I, oh, back down memory lane, I'm in the sunshine, I'm in the rain, I don't want to go traveling down, then I'm on the road again, oh child, honey, we were back down memory lane, remember when Kenya and Nene were just all jumping together, skipping down, the Atlanta Brick Road behind him. Cha, 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 cha. We could just, oh, we could just go on with the memories, the memories, the memories. But now we just got pain, pain, pain. <laughs> just like they said, oh, I stumbled on this photograph. All the good memories came and then it started flo uh, flooding my memory banks with bad, bad, bad memories, Lord. Okay, we got a wonderful article written by Radar Online. If you get a chance, check them out for all the news, breaking news, celebrity news that's breaking out there on social media. Yes, y'all know I like Atlanta Black Star. You know I like Atlanta Black, oh, what's it called? Black America Web. And I get down with Radar, Radar, uh, Radar Online as well. Honey, they did this article. Woo, child, I don't know who, woman, who put it out? Okay, they didn't list the person. Uh, so we're just going to get right on into it, y'all. The cast on Real Housewives of Atlanta could contain the fight that Nene and uh, Kenya got into. And I'm sure it was just a, a war on words, play on words, but words can hurt. They can cut very deep here and there, just depending on who you're playing with. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, reality TV. Celebrity news, you know. We're talking about Kenya Moore and Nene Leakes. The title goes Real Housewives of Atlanta. Cash Trip Explodes. Okay, Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore get into intense fight. Now, you know, this article was put out yesterday at 11.33 a.m. Don't know if it was Pacific. Don't know if it was Mountain. Or don't even really know if it was Eastern Standard Time Zone. But they was in Canada. So, y'all do the math and tell me which uh, time zone we were in when this fight took uh, occurred. Yes, the title reads, The Enemies Are at Odds Over Moore's Return to the Bravo Series. Now, you know, Kenya said she was hungry. Honey, she couldn't live on Mark Daly's restaurant business. And, you know, her business is not doing that well. You know, at least they ain't doing that much. Uh, what do you call it? She really hadn't done anything but had a baby, pretty baby. We're going to leave the kids out of it, but she got a gorgeous baby. I just wish Kenya and Portia stopped showing their babies all the time. They, I mean, they show them every time you get on social media. They got a picture here, got a picture there. I'm like, leave them babies alone. They don't need to be in the spotlight, okay? That makes me think when they get two, three, four, five, they still going to have them in the spotlight. Them kids don't know nothing about that. They don't want to be seen like that if you want to choose to put your life out there. Put your life out there. But don't be dragging the babies all around here. Taking photos and stuff. Trying to get money. People, the kids, before they didn't get a chance. It's just like putting your name. put Take their social security number and put your name in a lot of debt. And by the time it's time for them to get up and do something, they can't do them because you don't spoil it for them. You don't use up all their credit. They're not to go try to put you in jail or 
prosecute you for using a social security number. So you don't mess yourself up. So you want to mess them up for a long time. Anyway, that was just my spiel. Not in this article. I just hate when um celebrities... And it always be the black ones, too. They always be out there showing their baby here, there, and everywhere. Now, the white folk, uh, you're going to get a few, few glimpses of them as they go along. Like, we might see them a couple of pictures when they was a year. And you're going to see nothing else about them. And you might see them again when they're about four. And it just goes on like that because it's about them, not their children, not their family. Y'all put too much people on blast. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we need to know better and do better, black people. We really do. Okay, but moving on with this article, okay? It says, uh, Nene Leakes refused to film with Kenya Moore and Portia Williams for the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta amid their feud. Now, I'm not a fortune teller, but hey, anybody had eyes to see and ears to hear, we could have known that was going to be the case. Tell us something we don't know, okay? Getting back to the article, it said, but Radio Online, RadarOnline.com can exclusively reveal Nene is back to filming with her enemies. Uh, they weren't really enemies, maybe frenemies, but she said they were her co-workers uh, last season, okay? Now they're enemies, all right, and their brawls are all caught on camera, okay? During the co-star's cash trip to Toronto, Canada, Nene and Kenya got heated altercation. Not only has Kenya been accused of starting Nene's supervision rumors or suspension rumors, I should say, but she livid. She's livid over her co-star's response to her return to the show. Now, come on, Kenya. Did you really think Nene was going to blow out all the bells and whistles and have you a party and bake you a cake? Are you are you serious? You are an arch nemesis, honey. Her Achilles heel, her thorn in her side. Did you really think she was going to uh, toast up bottles of expensive champagne? For your return, girl, you really are naive, aren't you? I know you hot, Kane. You you hungry and you want to be spinning every kind of scenario for the negative on Nene. And we here for it. We here for it, baby. But don't put your hands on nobody because that's a, a, a clear cut case to put you under the jailhouse, okay? And Brooklyn need her mama, okay? Because Mark Daly can't uh, be mama, dad, and, and entrepreneur and restaurant a tear running around now, okay? Even if that's a real marriage of y'all's, which I'm still thinking it's not, but that's my hang up. You know, I just don't, you know, I can see mother and father pictures and stuff, but you barely show him with the baby. You know what I'm saying? It's you and the baby all the time, which me think that the family unit you're trying to portray is really not there. It's just for show. But that's just me, my opinion. That's what I'm expressing. Okay. Not in this article. Moving back to the article, it says scroll through radarsonline.com gallery to go inside the cast trip brawl. Okay, so that's what they basically tell me how to do now. Uh, they got Nene on uh, some photo, compliments of Bravo. She's in like a lime green uh, blouse, or maybe it's a kimono. Hell, I don't know. But she's uh, got her little hands up like a baby who finna get ready to scream, okay? Because they ain't got their milk. They need to be changed or something like that. Go check it out, okay? It says, at odds, as Radar reported, Nene 51 was furious when producers brought back Kenya 48 after she was fired for keeping her marriage to Mark Daly a secret. She also accused her of spreading rumors that she was suspended from season 12. Now, come on, Nene, it ain't too far fresh to think that, yeah, you were suspended because you put your hands on somebody. And, you know, we can't do that in society. We cannot put our hands on other individuals, okay, unless they want you to put them, put your hands on them. And then, you know, that's more so of a loving nature, not uh, trying to accost them or uh, do bodily harm, all right? Moving from there, it says shocking brawl. Okay, got a picture of Kenya sitting out maybe at a restaurant, sitting on the outside, taking in all the environment and the weather. Compliments of Bravo. Okay, it says shocking brawl. The insider told Radar of Saturday, August 3rd fight. Kenya said she didn't appreciate Nene being happy about her not being on season 11. Well, Kenya, you don't miss the whole season. Okay, a whole check. Because you decided not to film your, to me, fictitious wedding. And if you would have filmed it, we all probably would have speculated. You're just doing this for the ratings. You're just doing this for the show. 
y'all ain't really together. It just is what it is. But, you know, everything that's done in the dark will come to light. And for people like myself, I might be getting a pat on the back to include this in that this is really not a marriage. It's more of a convenient type of convenience situation. Okay, Mark gets his paycheck for appearing here and there on the show. Of course, you get your paycheck, which is a lot more, but it's just is what it is, Kenya. You go on with your lies and, and, and twirl yourself till you get silly. All right, but we go back to the article. It says, starting rumors. The source continued. Nene told Kenya she didn't appreciate her telling Lil B. Scott she was suspended. <laughs> well, I'm telling you like this. Lil B. Scott probably wouldn't have put nothing in there that was fictitious. So, maybe it had some truth to it, Nene. Could you say, maybe... All right, maybe 85% of it was true. Because I, like I said, you put your hands on somebody, baby. That's jail time. That's assault charges. That's a felony. So if we were to digress, look at the whole big picture, yeah, I can surmise that, yeah, you did get suspended. And you had to pay that man's medical bills and any other hush money that he come up with around figure, Okay. Bravo probably had to kick in their little half too, so he wouldn't come after them. Cause right now, Kenya Moore, um, that guy she had her that uh, what do you call it? It's a past story. Y'all heard about us seen it, or you know maybe somebody told you about it personally that you knew. Uh, the guy that uh took Kenya to some grand opening that uh, Peter Thomas was doing, I think it was in North Carolina or whatnot, and Matt Jordan got mad and stuff and went and, and, and assaulted, hit the uh, limo driver trying to get to Kenya or whatnot. See, he trying to sue Peter Thomas as well as Matt Jordan and Bravo. And that happened, what, two years ago, two or three years ago? So, yes, people can get sued, they sure okay, any time, any day, depending on who's pushing for the suit. All right, but moving on, she uh, was explaining or telling her side that Kenya had no business telling no lies to B. Scott. Love B. Scott, that is. Check her column out. It's a blaze, y'all. She's reputable, and you can get some stories off her uh, website to talk about and put on your platform. Okay, I've done it before, and I more than likely would do it again. I just haven't been over that lately, but she is a good, credible source if you ever want Today's uh, celebrity entertainment news going over there now. Okay, let's give her a few clicks and likes. Then we go to where it says victim, Kenya. Okay, the two went back and forth for an hour. It got intense. The source said, Kenya played the victim. All right, all right, Kenya, just play your role, honey. Play your role. However, it's going to show or come out to be. Um, but yeah, I, like I said, it had to be like verbalness going on. Couldn't have been no real true uh, tits and tats of hands going upside people's faces, going upside people's heads, going upside people's arms. It, evidently, it wasn't nothing like that. Or we would have heard about a child. Maybe whatever stayed in Toronto, whatever happened in Toronto, Canada, it stayed in Toronto, Canada. You know, people got paid off and all that kind of stuff. So I can see that possibly happening. Then we got friends again. There's another subtitle in this article. It says, in the end, Nene ended up apologizing and told Kenya they should let it go. All right, really? Really? Okay, it must be for filming. Maybe it wasn't all true to facts now. They were just stirring up trouble just to get us engaged in this upcoming season. All right, that should be breaking through in the fall. Then it got made up. Nene and Kenya has hashed out their differences. The source said they made up in the restaurant with their entire cast present. Okay, now see, that's fictitious. That's a written script being played here. They're going to have to come with it. Okay, they can't be doing all this falsifying uh, these uh, allegedly brawls they having and then you're going to automatically make up somebody that quick. Okay, and I'm pretty sure they taped there for a whole week or so. You know, people, we hold grudges. <laughs> Women hold grudges real tight. Them grudges can hold for years. You know what I'm saying? You disrespect them. You get on their nerves to a certain degree. They don't block you out. Blocks you like a, a, a bad thought or a bad hangover you may be having. Yes, we don't forgive 
forget that quick. And we may forgive, but we ain't going to uh, forget what happened and try, you know, transpire. And you may not be eating at our table. We could be cordial. Yes, we could throw up them hands, throw them little fake kisses and whatnot. But we ain't got nothing to do with you. You go on about your business. No, you can't eat at my table. You can't get into my conversation because I don't like you like that no more. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, Lord, your enemies. He say partake with them. Okay, he didn't say go around them and be, uh, you know, friends again or whatever. He said, love your enemies. Okay, so I do love my enemies and I forgive all of them that don't trespass against me. But do I want you to sit at my table? Do I want to be around you if I don't have to be around you? Heck no. Okay, let's be cordial if we must. But you in my space, my private space, uh-uh, can't do it, can't do it, because I don't trust you like that no more. And some people may feel the same about me, and that's their choice, you know what I'm saying? It may be a mutual, uh, mutual, amicable situation on both parts, you know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. Got love for you, but I just don't trust you, okay? And that's pretty much like when uh, Judas betrayed Jesus. He said, just get on up from the table, do what you got to do, you know, do your father's bidding, all right? I'm going to do mine. Okay, but we see each other. I can't, and then he said, we see each other. And that's how it is out there in this society today. Okay, but we're going back to the article. That was my pun intended. You know, I get down, I go there, I go I go here, I go there. You know, and then I get in the middle and try to figure out some things. But this is how I am. Okay, you should know me by now. All right, we go back to the article. It says, still feuding. Unfortunately for Portia, Nene still has an issue with her. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black, my people? Isn't that the pot? The kettle calling a pot black. She got to be in odds with somebody. She can't make up with everybody. Then we would you see her true intentions or what she gets paid for each season. Okay. All right. We go to the next article. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta drama. As radar readers know, Portia 38 and her co-star Candy Burris tried to get a sneak peek of her walk-in closet during a dinner party last season. Nene went off and put her hands on a pregnant candy. Oh, pregnant candy. Put her hands on a pregnant candy. They meant to say Portia, maybe. Not candy, because candy wasn't pregnant that time. But anyway, it must have been a typo. Okay, but it goes on to say she also allegedly caused a crew member member's tooth to be knocked out. Yes, Lord. Well, we do remember that. That's why I said, honey, sometimes you got to pay when you play wrong. You got to pay. And it ain't got to be everybody's business. That's on the hush hush. But yeah, Nene probably got some papers thrown at her. And they probably said, okay, I want her to sit out. Cause she don't violate me, and I can't, I can't sell my story to the tabloids. Cause I know TMZ will pay me real well for my story. Or anybody that's got a, a, a medium-sized platform, but they want a real juicy story that's gonna put them over. You know, I'm having more viewership come in and subs, subscribing to their channels and stuff. Yes, they knew they could sell that, but no, brother said, we got to hush, hush this. And Nene, you're going to pay. You're going to pay for it, Lord. You are going to pay for this indiscretion that you did. Because you think Nene would really actually sit out for a whole uh, season or half of a season? No, because that affects her paycheck, honey. That affects her purse, her bank account. And you know, she just, she loves to say she take Trump checks to the bank. And she did. She had to make a fool out of herself and all of that nature to get that paycheck. But true entertainment pays her for the drama and the foolish fuckery as well. Okay? Yes, they do. She gets paid to do what she does. As in, as in looking disgusting in our eyes. But yet, we love the mindless drama here and there. I ain't saying you put it in your life all the time, but you do dib and dab. You do dib and dab. Okay, but that's all I had, y'all, for this article that Nene and Kenya were, per se, allegedly having a little brawl out there in Toronto, Canada. Don't really believe it. I think it's just all uh, hype to bring up this new season that's coming up so we can tune in like man, uh, mindless dummies, okay? That's all I can say. Uh, that's all I have for this article. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll be back with the next video. Maybe two more if I can just shorten them down like I have been. That would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Okay. Well, I'll see you next video, y'all. Tune in and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe, and definitely share and like my videos. All right. Bye-bye.